Now that you've spent some time exploring the behavior of a one-dimensional deterministic linear system, we're going to make it a little more complicated because there is more to one-dimensional linear dynamical systems than just exponential growth and decay. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a, a small change in notation where instead of x dot equals ax, we're going to say x dot equals lambda x. Now, lambda, we're going to now allow to not just be a real valued number, but a complex valued number. Fortunately, analytic solution is exactly the same. It is still something that scales as e to the lambda x. But when lambda is not only a real valued number, but has a complex component, we can look at it on the complex value plane, where everything on the horizontal is this real component, this a component. And on the vertical axis, we're going to plot its imaginary component, something that scales with i, where i is a square root of negative 1. Now, when lambda has a non-zero imaginary component, it's no longer on the horizontal axis, it lives somewhere in this higher dimensional space. And we can express this number as a plus bi for its real and imaginary components respectively. Let's see what happens if we plug this number into the equation to the left hand side and plug it into the solution for our x of x, x of t. So what happens is first we can just plug it in where a and b are again real valued numbers. And we can pop out the real component by seeing that it separates out as e to the ax plus a bunch of cosines and sines that's, that is a function of t. Okay, that's only has the b component in it. So what you can see here is that the growth and decay of the, of the behavior of the system is entirely dependent on the real component of lambda. And if a is greater than zero, the system is growing. If a is less than zero, the system is decaying, just like before when lambda had been a strictly real valued number. If a is zero, then the whole system is stable and it keeps doing exactly the same thing for the indefinite future. And what you can see here by looking at this equation, cosine of bt and sine of bt, is that b, the imaginary component, now determines the frequency of oscillation. Your exercise for the next couple of minutes is going to explore the behavior of the system as it's determined by the parameter lambda, where lambda is allowed to be complex valued. So now no, not only do we have exponential growth and decay, we can have oscillations.